Hello and welcome back to another video from the Luxygen world of billionaires, luxury, and mega projects. In today's video, we will take an exclusive look at Merdeka PNB 118's completed spire, its construction, the entire building, and its possible future. The Merdeka PNB 118 Tower in Malaysia will be the world's second tallest building and the tallest building in Southeast Asia. The spire in tower, which will officially stand at a height of 678.9 meters, have been completed. Only Dubai's Burj Khalifa, which stands at 830 meters, is taller. Datuk Seri Ismail Sabri Yaakob, Malaysia's Prime Minister stated he was happy to announce the tower spire's completion in the midst of the COVID-19 outbreak. I was told that Merdeka 118 will be the first tower in Malaysia to receive triple platinum ratings with worldwide sustainability certifications, such as the coveted leadership in energy and environmental design, says the spokesman for the project, for LEED. On Tuesday, he remarked at a ceremony to honor the completion of the tower spire. According to what he said last November 30, this is not only a wonderful engineering feat, but also further boosts Malaysia's standing as a modern and developed country. On August 31, 1957, then Prime Minister Tunku Abdul Rahman declared the country's declaration of independence at the next door Stadium Merdeka, which is today recognized as the country's Independence Day. Merdeka 118 will become a landmark in the country's industry and an iconic skyscraper in the future, he said. Keluarga Malaysia can apply for three categories of grants covering sports, arts, and business through the Merdeka 118 grant application period, which runs from June 28 to August 20 this year, said the Prime Minister. The skyscraper has a total floor area of more than 3 million square feet, with 1.66 million square feet of Grade A office space and about 1 million square feet of rental space. The skyscraper includes the view at 118 Observation Deck, which will be the highest in Southeast Asia, as well as the tower's glass-domed 118 Mall, which will be located within the tower's platform. The Merdeka Textile Museum, which exhibits Malay World Textiles, Little M, a childcare center for children under the age of 7, and Masjid Merdeka, a mosque that can hold up to 3,000 people, are also part of the Merdeka 118 area. A wholly owned subsidiary of Permodala National Berhad or PNB, PNB Merdeka Ventures is the project's developer. As previously stated, Tun Arifin Zakaria, CEO of PNB, noted that the completion of the spire was a big step forward for the project. By the end of 2022, the tower and its surrounding region will have been upgraded and infrastructure will be in place. In Malaysia's capital, Kuala Lumpur, the 118-story skyscraper spire has reached a height of nearly 2,227 feet. Merdeka 118, which will be the world's second tallest skyscraper when it is completed next year, is now taller than China's Shanghai Tower, which is 2,073 feet tall and is only overshadowed by Dubai's Burj Khalifa. At a ceremony marking the spire's completion on Tuesday, Malaysian Prime Minister Ismail Sabri Yaakob described the project as an iconic tower for the future. He told reporters, this is not simply a fantastic success in the realm of engineering. However, it also reinforces Malaysia's standing as a prosperous and modern country. The skyscraper will have a mall, a mosque, a park Hyatt Hotel, and Southeast Asia's largest observation deck, as well as 3.1 million square feet of floor space, more than half of which will be available as offices. At ground level, the four-acre site will also include public areas and a park. The skyscraper overlooks the Stadium Merdeka, where former leader Tunku Abdul Rahman declared Malaysia's independence in 1957 and is located in a historic district of Kuala Lumpur. The sculptural design reflects the picture of Rahman memorably lifting his fist to explain Merdeka, which is Malay for independence, more than six decades ago, according to Ismail Sabri, who was chosen prime minister in August. 
The triangular glass panels on the building's front were inspired by patterns seen in Malaysian arts and crafts, according to Fender Katsalidis, an Australian architecture firm behind the project. In a press release, the firm stated the design also symbolically represents the rich cultural mix that defines the people of the country. Carl Fender, one of the company's founding partners, said in a statement that the structure was built to enhance the city's social dynamic and cultural fiber. He is reported as saying, In addition, the success of building the world's second tallest structure recognizes the years of planning, problem solving, teamwork, and human effort to require to produce a skyscraper of this complexity. It's a nice bonus to reach this height goal. According to the Council on Tall Buildings and Urban Habitat, skyscrapers have changed Kuala Lumpur skyline in recent decades, making it the world's 13th tallest metropolis. Between 1998 and 2004, the 1,483-foot Petronas Tower were the world's tallest structures until Taiwan's Taipei 101 surpassed them. Despite being impacted in the 1MDB financial scandal that landed Malaysia's former Prime Minister Najib Razak with criminal accusations including money laundering and abuse of authority, the 106-story Exchange 106 became Kuala Lumpur's and Southeast Asia's tallest skyscraper in 2019. With the completion of the tower spire, PNB Merdeka Ventures celebrates a critical milestone for the Merdeka 118 development which will stand tall among its brethren, the KL Tower and the KLCC Twin Towers, in the iconic Kuala Lumpur skyline. With the height of 678.9 meters, the Merdeka 118 Tower will become the world's second tallest structure and the tallest building in Southeast Asia. The Prime Minister and Chairman of the PNB Group graced an official event to mark the significant occasion. The spire's completion symbolizes a huge stride ahead in the path of Merdeka 118 development, which commenced in 2016 and today culminates in a momentous milestone, said PNB Chairman Tun Arifin Zakaria. The Merdeka 118 Tower has the same position with some of our treasured historical sites, which makes for a stunning blend of the old and the present, said Enchik Ahmad Zulkarnian On president and group chief executive of PNB. Despite the pandemic's obstacles, the building was built and the surrounding infrastructure will be upgraded by late 2022. The Merdeka 118 precinct, which is located in the heart of Kuala Lumpur's astronic enclave, is planned to revitalize the neighborhood. The precinct creates a site for celebration that will draw both Malaysian and foreign visitors. It features work-life attractions to improve livability not only for individuals within the tower, but also for the surrounding community. The historical sites of Stadium Negara and Stadium Merdeka may be seen from the top of the tower. PNB has restored Stadium Merdeka to its previous state in 1957 and has also undertaken a feasibility assessment to reactivate Stadium Negara while protecting its heritage value as the sole custodian of these national heritage monuments. The Merdeka 118 skyscraper will be the first in the country to receive a triple platinum rating with worldwide sustainability certifications such as LEED, Green Real Estate or Green RE, and the Green Building Index, setting new standards in sustainability or GBI. What are your opinions on the Merdeka PNB 118 building? Do you want to see Malaysia make taller skyscrapers in the future? Let us know by commenting your ideas down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it and we hope that you learned a little bit more about Merdeka PNB 118. Please join us again for another Luxigen video. To stay updated to our newest videos and content, please hit the like button, smash that notification bell, and subscribe to our channel. We hope to give you more videos in the future. Until then, take care and see you in the next Luxigen video.